the fire, which uh, involved mainly uh, wooding structures seven commercial and residential purposes, started around 9 a.m. and the fire service got to the scene around 9.15 and was able to douse the fire within some 43 minutes. This is a settlement close to the Achimoto New overhead and we are told that about 70 structures, uh, wooden structures, were actually accommodated here with over 150 people living in them. Some also served as stores for people where they were doing their businesses. And the fire that started around 9 a.m., the fire service came in with three fire tenders and also a water tank. And with the help of over 30 personnel, they were able to douse the fire within 43 minutes. That is what the fire service is telling us. So now we are doing what we call uh, overhauling. That is, uh, you know, we have uh, roofing sheets over there and some of the fires are under. So we just lift them and make sure the water goes there very well so that we will totally extinguish it. It seems like the carelessness is too much and I'm using this medium or media to uh, advise everybody to be very cautious. When we are in the house, we expect that the, our surroundings are clear, you read your surroundings, because a bushfire can enter a house and become a domestic fire. Uh -huh. So we advise that we take precautionary measures to prevent naked flame from you know, burning our tents. So what is left is remnants of uh, roofing sheets and other things that the people could not pick up. The fire has raised every single structure that was accommodated in here. And you can hear those who are living here talking and counting their loss. Some are saying that they were not able to pick anything at all. Some have lost money, some have lost property, some have also uh, lost other things that they were selling, including a uh, boutique which lost clothes. Though he's saying that he was able to salvage some of the things in the boutique, those that belong to men like Lacoste and T-shirt for men, all have been stolen by miscreants who also sought to take advantage of the situation and what, what you do here. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. I'm a peer could be Felix, you know, a student of University of Ghana, final year student for that matter. Um, this is where I live because um, when I came to Accra, life was very tough for me. So I didn't have anything else at that time. And so I secured myself a kiosk for me to, you know, have apartment in there. And for that matter, um, I've lived here for almost seven years. In fact, I was here before I started the investor education. And so this morning I have a project work to do because I'm about to complete school. And so I decided to do long essay. So I'm here to commence the part four of the uh, project. And so I realized that there was no Wi-Fi here. And so I know a friend who lives at uh, Azuma, Azuma Nelson's area, and so I went there this morning. When I got there, I had the call that, you know, where I live, there has been fire. And so I rushed home. When I came home, everything that I've suffered for has gone. So, so what exactly are we talking about, that government? We're talking about a money here, 5,600. People will ask, why do you have 5,600 and then you live in this kiosk? This is a simple thing. I applied for NEIP, National Entrepreneurship Innovation Project, and then the money was given to me. This is the check, you know, because we were asked to open an account at um, CBG, that is Consolidated Bank Ghana. And so I went to the bank and then I made that card because I decided to set up a small business. Unfortunately for me, the money that I kept here, because I know today is a holiday, so anything that I've decided to do, I can't do it today. So I decided to do that tomorrow, and this is what has happened to me. Yes. Yes. Salom Aminya for TV3 News, Achimota, Accra.